photo, Scott Patrick Green, a 24 Charlie Plummer plays a 16-year-old who steals a broken-down racehorse and Lean on Pete, Charlie Plummer plays a 16-year-old who steals a broken-down racehorse and Lean on Pete, photo, Scott Patrick Green. A24 movie review, Lean on Pete, rests on Charlie Plummer's fine lead performance, Lean on Pete is a highly flawed, yet haunting coming-of-age story in which a boy cares for and then steals a horse. It takes place in a world films rarely show, one where the crusty mentor lacks a heart of gold and where country music plays in every diner, but the people leading there are hard, not homespun. Poverty and cycles of alcoholism and parental neglect will have that effect. But 15-year-old Charlie, Charlie Plummer, still seems to have a shot at a better life, at the film's start. Sweet-natured and adaptable, Charlie rolls with his single fathers, Travis Fimmel, many job changes and moves among Pacific Northwest cities. New to Portland, Charlie is on a run, he's training for football season, at whatever school he might attend next, when he encounters a racetrack and meets Lean on Pete, an aging horse. Director and screenwriter Andrew Hay brings the same subtle luminosity to Lean on Pete based on Willie Vlatan's 2010 novel that he did to his feature, Weekend, and the HBO series, Looking. But little of the intimacy or hopefulness of those pieces is evident here because neither is available to Charlie, whose mother took off and whose father is more concerned with drinking beer and chasing women than with him. In his impoverished circumstances and dependence on an unstable parent, Charlie mirrors the protagonist in Moonlight. But that child knew how to accept help when it was offered. Charlie's father has convinced his son it is just them against the world, and to rely on no one else. When his father lands in the hospital, Charlie must support himself on the nominal pay he receives from Lean on Pete's owner, Dell, Steve Buscemi, whom Charlie met passing by the track. Dell at first seems like a positive influence but apart from asking Charlie where he picked up his appalling table manners, he is not interested in Charlie's home life, only his affinity for horses, and how it can help Dell make money. When Charlie, already grieving a loss, learns Dell wants the injured Pete put down, he takes Dell's truck and the horse. It's a move that will be disastrous for both, and eventually drag down the film, which lasts too long and puts Charlie through too much. But Plummer is always easy to watch, a natural presence who signals Charlie's moments of stubbornness while maintaining a through line of heartbreaking innocence. He was perfectly cast in a largely miscast film. Watching it means pretending the acting around Plummer is believable, to be able to follow the story. Lean on Pete, rated R, for language and brief violence running time, 122 minutes 2.5 stars out of 5.